Right now, we are starting to see a very notable evolution in drone technology. But more specifically, we are starting to see how liquid neural networks can bind machines into intelligent swarms with collective abilities. This will only be more advanced in the future, as we are starting to see drones with morphing capabilities. With the ability to change shape and adapt to a task automatically, the drone can be a very powerful tool in itself. The Dragon drone has already proven that complex shapes can be stabilized, and with the right setup, actuators can correlate with manipulation. Along with swarm integration, one can only imagine what an advanced Dragon drone would look like. But this is not just limited to actuated motors, and very complex vehicle designs can be made with hybrid models. In the past, we have seen how hybrid wheel-based multicopters can drive on the ground or fly in the air. There is even the latest Skywalker omnidirectional vehicle, which can transition to a ground-based mode in real time. This allows it to increase over 70% efficiency and maintain a high flying speed. But the latest hybrid is on another level. Titled the Morphle Bot, it can crouch, tumble, and even stand on two legs. Technically, it has eight distinct modes of motion, thanks to its articulating body. Each leg has two actuated hip joints for frontal movement and a prop mount acting as a wheel and thruster. Overall, this was really tricky because the robot incorporates 16 actuators with a pretty hefty weight of around 13 pounds. But it is still light enough to fly. And similar to a modern robotic lightweight dog, this one can actually chase you down with ease. Another pursuit is to combine VTOL capabilities with fixed wing designs. And the Flares drone is a pretty crafty concept because the multi-copter dashes forward and actually releases the fixed wing integrator. In this setup, the craft can fly for over 16 hours with a hefty 40 pound payload. Once the fixed wing comes back, the multi-rotor deploys a rope between itself and the ground and the fixed wing can grab this rope with a hook, and then it's lowered. It's definitely a very unorthodox setup, but it does show what is possible when you can combine two different flying platforms. Naturally, we have seen many attempts in combining both VTOL and fixed wing capabilities, but the most impressive is probably the XP4, and it's arguably the first time a prototype is able to combine both of these benefits in a very large format. It has over a 13 foot wingspan, and it can carry a 15 pound payload over 60 nautical miles with an all electric system. The critical aspect to this is the dihedral hinges. The wings tilt as they fold, and struts extend from a fuselage on a linear actuator. There still is a lot of question on what the limitation is to the scale, and if you can actually build large aircraft with this system. But the company is even planning to build a more ambitious project which can carry 220 pounds at 850 miles with a turbo generator. Another drone which is tackling on this benefit is the Morpho. Once again, this looks like your typical morphine drone, but it's actually a pretty complex vehicle because this craft can enter into horizontal flight with a biplane configuration. If it encounters a crosswind, the wings can shift into an asymmetric orientation. Through its feedback sensors, it can automatically compensate for off-center wind resistance. Once it reaches a preferred location, the wings are drawn in, making it perfect for inspections. So we have seen how drones can adapt to the ground and even the air. But what about water? Well, even though it's not the first time that we have seen a hybrid aquatic drone, the TJ Flying Fish is a crafty design which can rotate its props and then change its speed thanks to a dual speed gearbox. The autonomous robot can adjust the angle and thrust of each motor. This allows it to fly for around 6 minutes, or do underwater navigation for around 40 minutes at 6 feet per second. The only downside is that it can only go 10 feet deep, so it's not exactly going to do any deep diving expeditions. One final ability is to actually transform itself to perch on an object and maintain monitoring capabilities. The RIA lab has shown how a simple magnetic configuration can allow for docking, and this can be done on a variety of objects. One of the more notable developments is the Griffin project. It's a pretty large ornithopter with a 5 foot wingspan and a weight of around 1.5 pounds, so battery flight times can be limited. In turn, a three-phased flight controller was utilized. This controls wing cycles, 
near obstacle correction, and passive perching. It's the first time an actuated claw can correct for flight inaccuracies and correlate with the flight controller, automatically perching the robot to an object. Fortunately, it's not quite large enough for grabbing and picking up humans. Ultimately, we have seen how VTOL along with fixed wing capabilities can increase flight times and allow the drone to perform a higher end task. Along with the swarm capability, we can also see how more information can be retrieved from the environment. The bottleneck to all this technology is probably battery energy density. This can be sidetracked a little bit using a turbo generator for larger variants or a piezoelectric propulsion for lighter devices. But one of the more recent developments is the maglev hyperdrive. Supposedly it's using a segmented rotor with non-contact to the propeller blades and supposedly this could make it more efficient and quieter as well. I will definitely be following up on that story in the very near future. But as of right now, I think drone technology is only in its infancy. And I think within the next 10 years, we're going to see very incredible drone advancements. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all this. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.